So now you're driving truck. Are you gonna go local, dedicated, regional, or long haul? Here's a couple pros and cons in each one. You've got your career as a truck driver, and you've got a couple choices to make. How do you want to do it? Where do you want to drive? There's several different ways you can go. You can go the local route, you can go the OTR, which would be broken down to long haul or regional work, or if you can get on with a company that has dedicated runs, you can go dedicated. We're gonna talk a little bit about each of those. We're gonna start first with local work. Hey guys, my name is Ronan, and I wanna personally thank you for watching this video. I am the son of a truck driver and currently working as an operations manager for a medium-sized carrier. Growing up, I heard a lot of complaints about the trucking industry, and now that I'm working in it, I hear it all the time. I wanted to create a channel in order to unite North American drivers, share my knowledge, educate drivers to become more successful, and one day to make a positive impact in our industry. Some concerns that I have in our industry revolve around hours of service, driver compensation, parking for drivers, and safety on the road. These videos on this channel are not meant for recruiting purposes. When we unite, we can make a difference. As me and my team continue to produce high quality and interesting videos, I do need your support in order to make a difference. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoy this video. Local work is generally, it's city work. The long haulers or the, or the over the highway guys, they're bringing loads into the terminal. Uh, usually uh, in the afternoon or in the evenings and in the mornings, the local guys, they hook onto these loads and they run around and they deliver them. And then they'll reload those trailers, bring them back to the terminal, and then we come back in and we'll pick those loads up and we take off cross country with them. Now local work is good in a way that, first of all, most local guys are paid by the hour. The average, uh, I would say, I know with our company, the average uh, local guy is making anywhere from 22 to 24 bucks an hour. Um, it's not a bad rate. Um, if you can work enough hours, you can make a decent living. The good thing about local work is, is you're probably not gonna be working just a 40 hour week because when you're dealing with customers and live time, um, you know, you could go to do a pickup or a delivery and you could sit there for three, three and a half hours waiting to get loaded or offloaded. So you, you can accumulate your hours. Um, and, and if you're on with a good company after the 40 hours or 44 hours, they'll pay you overtime. So 22 to 24 bucks an hour is not a bad wage. You can do okay. Uh, I know I know local guys that are somewhere of the, the, the 70 to $80,000 a year mark and they're doing all right. Local work means though, you're also gonna be tootling around the city. So you're gonna be sitting in a lot of traffic. Whereas guys like me, I try to get into the city and get out of the city as fast as possible. I try to stay out of the cities as much as I can. Uh, local guys, well, that's your job. You're going to be tootling around in traffic, especially in Toronto here and, and the area where we're at right now. It is busy. So there's a lot of traffic. It could, you know, it, it might be only be, you know, 15 miles to get where you got to go to make that delivery. I could probably, t on days, Thursdays and Fridays through Toronto, yeah, that's, an, that's an hour, man, just to get where you want to go. Um, so know that if you're going to be driving local, you're going to be driving through the city. You're going to be doing a lot of city driving and it's going to be busy. I always suggest uh, of a new guy, cut your teeth in the city. Become a local driver first, cut your teeth there. If you can run two or three years running local, running through the city and, and not have an accident, not trash any equipment and not kill yourself, chances are you'll, you'll do all right for the rest of your career. City work also means though, and this is the bonus, this is a really good part, is chances are you're gonna be home every night. You know, whereas I go out for two, three, four weeks at a pop, local guy, you know, you, let's just say you start at four o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the morning, chances are you, you're gonna be rolling into your house around supper time. So if you've got a family, or if you're a young guy with a young family, this is probably best for you. You're gonna come in and, uh, you know, you'll see your family every night. You know, it sucks getting up at four in the morning, but we all have to do that anyway. So yeah, one of the big perks for being a local driver is that you, you generally, you're home every night. Um, some companies have local guys that might do quick runs, say Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. So it might be a one-nighter. You're out overnight. You come back the next day, then you go home for a night, then you go out. But, but like, when you specifically think about local work, you see all the guys running around in day cabs, delivering loads, those are local guys. The next area that, that we're gonna talk about just briefly is dedicated. 
our company doesn't so much do dedicated runs but I know a lot of the mega carriers do. And if you can get on with one of them doing a dedicated run, dedicated just basically means that you're gonna run the same freight from the same place to the same place, do a quick turnaround and you're gonna come back. And that's dedicated. If it's a 500 mile trip, you're gonna go 500 out, 500 back, 500 out, 500 back, 500 out, 500 back and your week is done. You're done. Um, that's dedicated. I don't like doing dedicated only because it's boring as hell to me. But if you want to do something like that and you can handle the monotony, grab a dedicated run. The plus side to a dedicated run is that you can pretty much know how much your paycheck is going to be. You know, your, your income is pretty, pretty regimented because you know that you're going to leave on Sunday, you're going to be home on Friday, and you can probably tell before you leave how many miles you're going to do that week and you, you'll know how much your fuel you probably you're going to burn and you'll have an idea of what you're going to make so that's dedicated not a lot of companies do it but a lot of the mega carriers do the next one is 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 otr drivers now otr breaks up into two different areas okay we've got regional drivers and we've got the long haulers the regional guys are generally guys that are doing 500 mile trips. So you're going Toronto, Chicago, back to Toronto. Uh, Toronto, uh, Quebec City, back to Toronto. 500 miles out, 500 miles back, those are regional guys. And generally with regional, um, if you're doing something like that from our terminal here, um, if you live in this area, chances are you can probably get yourself home one maybe two nights a week depending on your schedule and how you're running the pay is generally the same the regional guys make the same as the otr guys it's just that you're doing the quicker jobs you're going out and back out and back whereas the long haul guys um, which i try to do as much as i can because i'm getting old fat and lazy um, i like to run out about a thousand miles 1200 miles do my offload uh, you know drive drive get my reload um, you know, go somewhere else. I don't necessarily have to come back to the Toronto area. I don't mind going, you know, I'll, I'll run from here, Kentucky, then say, do uh, two drops out, Calgary, Edmonton, go over to Saskatchewan. You know, I, I like that kind of thing. Whereas I'm gone for three, four weeks. Each of my weeks is consisting of thousand miles. Each trip is consisting of a thousand miles or, or more. Regional guys are running 500 miles and, and that's about where they go. And a regional driver is also, remember this, you're gonna be doing a little bit more work, right? You're gonna be going out, offloading, reloading same day, coming back. Offloading, reloading same day, going out. So you're gonna be offloading and reloading pretty much every single day. Um, the long haulers, we generally go out a thousand miles, 1200 miles, we'll offload a couple hours later, we'll reload and then we'll head to wherever we're going. So it's a little less work. And like I said, guys, as we get older, I don't want to be able, I don't want to have to and load and reload every single day. I, I really don't want to do that. And if you can find a company that has the longer, the longer routes, I would definitely jump on that. The, the bone, like I said, the bonus for the regional guys, chances are you, you're gonna be home one, maybe two nights a week. Uh, myself personally, when I go out, if I know I'm gonna be out for four weeks, in four weeks, I might make it home one night. So know that if you're gonna be doing long haul, you're gonna be gone. If you're gonna be doing regional, you're gonna be able to get home maybe once or twice a week. So just in quick touching, just let's just quickly think about this. If you're new to the business and you're a younger guy, my suggestion, go with the local. Run the local for a while, give that a shot. Then move to OTR or move to regional. If you're gonna be a regional driver, know you're gonna work a little bit more, but yeah, you're gonna be home a little bit more as well. Um, the highway guys know that you're gonna be running longer distances, but you're probably not gonna see your family for an extended period of time. Those are some quick pros and cons. You make up your own mind, see what you want to do. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like.